You see, Waldo, this is a gauge. And what it does is it tells you if your PEX tool is calibrated. It must go to that spot. If it goes any further, then it's not set right, okay? And this one is set right. So we're gonna start running some PEX. Oh, they're watching us. I didn't know. Yeah, well, it's raining out, so. I'm stuck in here working with the smellies. Yeah, as long as they behave, uh, I won't kick them out. One sign of misbehavior out of you, boy. And that's it. You're going to the doghouse outside. All right, what I'm going to do today, you've seen when I put my pecs through there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a. Uh, the water lines down I'm gonna obviously run it the hot water to that and the cold water I'm teeing off on the cold I wish the cold hot was over here but I'm gonna tee off on the cold run it that way and in one corner I'm gonna put a water spigot and then I'm gonna run it all the way across the front of the building in the studs actually and I'm gonna have one over on that side for the garden so right now today I'm just gonna cut the pieces but we're going to connect them all. Uh, I'm going to cut the pieces a little bit longer. And we'll get them run through the walls. And then I'm going to come back, cut them, excuse me, cut them, put in the elbows, the tees, whatever I need. And then we'll go inside there. I don't know if I'll get to that today. We'll go inside there and connect the water. I got a lot of things to reroute in there. So that's what we're going to be doing. I've got to sturdy this up. I've also got to find some one by fours to run between these two where I'm putting the spigot uh, to span that so I've got something to screw the uh, spigots into those are sharp bite uh, all I gotta do is just plug in the pegs so I'll have to cut a put an elbow cut a little short piece and shove it in that should be real easy I have not used this type before this is the kind that has the pinch the little pinch ends on it and I'm hoping, hoping there a lot because the last time I used PEX with the clamps didn't go well. I don't know if my PEX tool was calibrated right or not. Uh, so I'm hoping this, I don't have any issues. Uh, I got some mad when I first started putting plumbing in the house with those. I just went and bought shark bite fittings that just snap in. Very, very expensive. I mean, we're talking just for one anywhere from 11 to 20 dollars so i'm not doing that now we're going to make this work all right i'm going to get busy what are you scared there's not many dogs that have their own dog apartment let alone have their own alexa that's right all right guys well here's what i'm opting to do and it's the best uh it's the best way to do this in this particular room I've already attached the elbows. I am going to run this PEX on the outside of the wall, and this is why. Uh, this room is not going to be heated as well as the other, you know, in the other where it was in the other house in the house. And this way, I can cover it with the uh, the insulated foam. It's a laundry room, man. It doesn't have to be beautiful, so I'm going to run it on the outside of the wall. Yes, it would be easier to do this if I already had the wall on, but I don't. So I'm going to leave enough room, I'll be able to, and I have decided I'm going to sheetrock this room. I'm going to use that wall board in there. In this room, I'm just going to put sheetrock up, just tape it, and I ain't doing anything else to it. If I decide I want to make it look prettier later, then I can always mud it and sand it, whatever I need to do. But for now, it's just going to be sheetrock. That's the cheapest route to go. Because that wall board is going to look nice in there and in the office. And I want that to look nice. I am going to put a floor in that very soon and the ceiling. We're going to get on that in the next week or two. Once I get this done. I'm sorry, Lily. Did I knock you with the PEX? This PEX is very cold. So what I'm doing is trying to straighten it up the best I can before I clamp it onto that. And so I'm just going to drop these two lines down about here. Come on over underneath the washing machine gizmo. And then I'm going to elbow up to those. I may have to elbow up and then over a short distance, but I don't, I don't think so. We'll see. Because 
because that thing's going to be inside the wall. So I'm going to have I'm going to have to think on this a minute. That that part may have to go inside. I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, I know what to do there now. Problem is, if I do that, hook it up now, how am I going to get the sheetrock on? So, yeah. All right. See, if I'd have done this different, where I could have came through here inside the wall, you know, it would have been a whole lot easier. But it's kind of good that I'm doing it on the outside because now I don't have to worry about this stuff freezing. They're very, very interested in what I'm doing. Waldo has not moved. Lily, she's afraid of the Alexa and she's also afraid of the Pex. Lily is afraid of her own tail. And she always has been, ain't you, Lily? Yeah, you don't like the Pex tool. I'm going to tell you something about this Pex tool, guys. If you got to have a lot of strength especially if you're up above your head i could barely do it man but i got bad carpal tunnel it's very hard man it takes a lot to squeeze these things on so i've got this one on i've got this over here we're just going to run a short one up to that i'm going to go ahead and hook them all up and i'll worry about it later believe me i can work some magic when it comes to making things work <laughs> I am not a plumber, but uh, I, I have run the plumbing in this entire house. So, we're just going to do the best we can. And this isn't going to take very long at all. I'm about done with the washer and dryer part. Now, then i got to run the drain. Uh, that's pretty simple. I've got all that stuff. And I really don't like having to run it where I'm doing it, but that's where it is, so. Well, though, you ready for your next lesson? I don't think I'm giving him lessons. I'm thinking if I do something wrong, he's going to let me know. And we've already had the first argument over the Alexa. He wants to hear hip hop. I says, we ain't going to The only hips that hop in this house are my old hips. And we're not playing it. We're just not playing it, man. All right, let me get this finished. Okay. That's all run through the washing machine thing. Now what I'll do, see once these are tacked down and all that, they'll look better. And I've got my tea run for my water spigots. Now what I'll do is when I go to put on the sheetrock, I'll just cut that and probably elbow it through the wall, then back up. But I want to get this washer, I gotta get this washer going for now. Uh and it's gonna be it's gonna be a while before I probably put sheetrock in here. So we're gonna do it this way. However, this I will run probably through. I, well, you know, I, I kind of like the idea of it being inside where it's heated. So I'm going to run that also on the outside of the wall. So all I got to do is run a short piece to there. Uh, elbow down in the wall there. Uh, I'll elbow down and then go ahead and put one piece through the wall. So I don't have to mess with that. And man, the nice thing is with this, you can just cut it, put a new fitting on it. I've got plenty of fittings and I'll make it work when I get the sheetrock gone. So like I said, we're gonna run, I'm gonna have a water spigot right there so I fill the dog's water buckets. Then I'm gonna run a long piece here and I want a water spigot about right there for the garden hose. All right, let me get on that. Waldo, do not get at my feet, boy. I know you're anxious to learn, but I ain't the guy to learn from, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's messy in here, man. We got to get this clean. Okay, and of course that drain pipe will be inside the wall. That won't be seen. Now, right, let me get this blue one run. Plenty of pecs. Tell you what, guys, I've got, I got this roll and this roll, 100 feet each. I got all these fittings, the tool, the cutter. I think I paid 119 bucks for everything. You can go anywhere in town and buy that with the tool. The tools alone are anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks. So <coughs> I got that on Amazon. <coughs> Let me share that link. If I can find it on my Amazon, I'll share that link in the description down below. And if you want it, go be sure to go through my Dogman Amazon page. Which reminds me, I appreciate all the people that are doing that. I'm almost to 100 bucks in commissions. <laughs> Took a while. You know, hey, it's something. That's that's a week's, week's worth of gas. Two weeks worth of gas for me. 
All right, let me get going. What boy? They don't, they don't want to hear your song. I can't sing it. I can't sing it right now, although I'm in the middle of doing plumbings and pixing. All right. Waldo the Gooch, he is a happy pooch. Waldo the Gooch, he is a happy pooch. I haven't wrote the rest of it, but he likes it. All right. It's best to put this stuff under the sun, but we haven't had the sun in about a month, it seems. It's awful. It's depressing. All right. Now, get me a fitting. It's just fitting, but I've got the fittings right here. It's just fitting. Give me an elbow boy. All right. Oh, we don't need no what. Yeah, we will need an elbow. Put this on. Where's vegetable right there? Oh, that's not what I measured. Cut about three inches off of it. No, although I'm not using a tape measure. Guess to me. That's about right. All right, slip this dude on there. Quarter it says. And all this is this has a little hole there. You, it's probably far back. You can't see. And you just put that in yonder and squeeze it together. Ah. Oh, I miss the days, the younger days of being strong. I don't think I'll ever get the strength back in my hands. All right, now, get another clamp. Uh, elbow T. You getting that, Waldo? I'm going to cut a little bit more off of this. Partridge family bus. What happened to that thing? Does anybody know? Because I bet you Drew would buy it. The Partridge family bus. Man, it's not a straight cut. I never liked that show. That Danny. That Danny irritated me. He just, I don't know. And he still irritates me. True fact about that show, the only one that had any musical abilities was, what's his name, the older one, Greg? Yeah, Greg. You know, he was always the lead singer. And then, uh, well, the mom, she could actually, I think she could sing, but I ain't sure. But Greg, yeah, he was the, he was the only one. What was his real name? David Cassidy. Yep. He was the only one that had any talent. The funny thing was they could have got real musicians, but they didn't. That Danny. Oh, that Danny. He was always doing something smart out of you know? I have never liked that. Good. All right. Excuse me. 
don't need to peel you off. Well, this stuff's been pulled off so many times. Alright. You're gonna be going at about. I'll put you about there, so I need to come over. Let's put it in the middle here. Show y'all what I'm doing. I thought I brought one of them in. Yeah. So that's that just that is a shark bite. It just pull uh, pushes into there. But I need a good. That's only T111. So I need to run a one by four across that. Uh, so I have something to screw it into. It just has two screws, and then you just plug it in. Man, you're ready. You, you got business. You, you're ready for business. Although that's a weird spot. All right, so I need to run a very short piece. Six inches. Go ahead and straighten that out before I cut it. Millie and Tilly are out there in the same, there's two dog houses there, but they're in the same dog house. Kelly stayed here all night. That's the first time she's ever done that. Alright, now. Clamp. Let's go ahead and put the tee on this dude. Not a, not a tee and elbow. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Where are the elbows? Alright. That's gonna go like that. That's gonna go like that. Put my clip on. Alright guys, I'll come back when I got it on there. Okay, Waldo, you need to stay out of stuff, boy. Alright, this stuff is not where it's staying. I have to clamp this on there with these brackets so I can get this stuff straight. Still ain't easy. Although, I don't know who Luca is and why she lives on the second floor. That song, come on, I haven't heard that song in 30 years. I don't know who Luca is living on the second floor. Doesn't matter if it's... I will purdy it up later. All I care about is that it's enough. Long enough. I got four inch screws. <laughs> I'm out of screws. I knew I should have bought some. Ah, at least that'll hold in place. And I did put a T there. I know originally I put an elbow and then I caught myself. Says, hey, how am I going to get it on there? So now all I have to do is. Uh, Run a short piece, put it with an elbow, run it down. Uh, I'm not hooking this up to the water today. I've got to go in there and move a bunch of stuff around. So we're just getting the main part of it run. So when I do turn it on, I just got a few connections. Uh, I think it's going to be much better having this. You know, if this was a room in the cabin, no, I would never put the pecs on the outside of the wall. But like I said, this is not, even though it's insulated, it will get you know down to 40s and stuff it could you know who knows i don't want the stuff to freeze so it's a laundry room it ain't gonna matter uh and this way i if i opt to do something else with it later i can so that's what i'm gonna do it and these two every time i leave the room i cannot leave any pieces of packs on the floor or anywhere they can reach it because they're good chew toys for them that's what they think you ain't getting no picks, boy. All right, we're not done. I'm going to hook up their new light that I got them. This is what I got. Antique brass. <laughs> I know, man. They're going to be fancy. All right, so I've got the breaker shut off. I'm going to go ahead and get up here. Hook this light up. Hook the, yeah, just hook the switch. Everything's already hooked. I just have to wire the light. All right.
Do, 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 do. You guys ready for some light? Yeah. All right. Everything's wired up. Fixture is up there. And let's put the globe on. This is all they needed in the first place. Didn't need nothing fancy. If I ever break all my glasses, I can just, you know, come get this. I got a spare glass. All right, the screw, let's put the light bulb in there. Little light bulb. All right, just one of them, huh? Make sure it's good and tight. Don't want to break it on the babies. It's a little wompous. There. I'm going to screw your out. Don't want to go too tight, but I don't want it to fall either. I ain't going nowhere. Well, it looks off center. There it goes. I ain't going nowhere. All right. Everything's buttoned up. Let me go flip the breaker. Y'all just, hey, scream at me if it blows up or something. I'm going to go turn the breaker back on. Power's back on. That's a good sign. This is the final chapter. Well, I'll be dipped in duty. Let me turn it off and back on again. That's what happened last time. Well, I'll be dipped in duty twice. Yep. That is the end of the video. I forgot all about the light. Now, the electrical is complete. Let's turn this off. Oh, wow. That gives them a lot of light in here, man. A lot of light. Let me show you guys while this is uh, while it's raining out there. Let me show you what's going on. See how that water's seeping in from this terrible. Yep. And I'm gonna go with the awning. Is what I'm gonna do. That'll keep the water off of that. Probably an awning with fronts on it to keep if we get any sideways running water. Look at these big old things. You need to go on a diet, Miss Girl. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I ended the video earlier, but it really wasn't the end. We got this on there now. I love it. That's There's no better light for this kind of room. And, you know, if you didn't see the video before, all this is going to get tidied up. This will not be seen. Any None of this electrical. I've, I'm going to build cubbyhole shelves in here where I can put laundry detergent. You know, I'm tall enough I can reach that without a ladder or anything. That's just a good spot for that. I may incorporate shelves up here later in the loft. I don't know. All right. We're going to end it there. Happy trails.